hey there everybody i wanted to show you guys what i'm doing today i am back to making fairy doors you guys this is uh this <laughs> this is how i started being a crafter a friend of mine was chopping down a cedar tree now this was 11 10 years ago 10 11 years ago and he brought these uh pieces over to me and he he knew i made fairy art and he said i think you know you could probably use these for something and i'm like oh yeah i definitely can this is kind of where everything uh you know kind of crafty is started for me and you know it's been 10 years it's kind of hard to believe it's been 10 years Today I'm making tiny books. Now, these tiny books will go in uh, into the kind of diorama that is the fairy door. So I thought I would show you guys how I make these books because it's really fun. You can knock them out in no time flat. You can make a shelf of them, you know, for your own fairy goodness. Let's. Uh, Let's start with, I think this piece is one and three quarters, so it's just one and three quarters uh, cardstock. I'm going to kind of fold that like this. Don't, don't put a crease here. Just kind of push, push the spine of the book in. And then you'll want to kind of just burnish it a little bit like that. Even it up. Now, here's the thing, doesn't matter if it's perfectly even because it is going to be one of those types of elements that the more rugged and ragged you can make it look, the more authentic it will fit with the natural elements that are going on in the fairy door. The next thing that I like to do, and, and like I said, you know, this is, you can do this however you want. And it's, <laughs> it's a great little project to kind of just get lost in. And I know a lot of us need to kind of get lost in a project right now. Because, uh, let's just face it, man, the world's a... The world is a difficult and hard place at the moment, but there's still, you can still make beautiful things and kind of get lost in your beautiful creativity. I'm going to show you how to make a couple signatures. You can do it your way. The papers do not need to be straight. The more wonky you make your papers, the better off your fairy book looks and we may lose power it's been very stormy here and if we do then we'll just come back later i've got two dogs that are shaking and quaking and baking bless their little hearts they are not happy susie our bloodhound puppy was a year old yesterday and <laughs> we thought that uh, you know we kind of escaped him being afraid of storms mia is terrified of storms but by golly he's just he's very shaky as well he doesn't like storms either <laughs> so bless their little bless their little souls we're just tearing up paper here this is coffee and tea dyed paper and um doing um i'm tearing up a coffee filter that I had as well. All right, so let's, you know, you just get a little stack of paper and then we start, we're gonna start down here. You start with a pretty substantial, you know, if you've chunked it up, just start with a substantial chunk of paper. Yes, my desk is messy. I'm getting out all of my elements for fairy goodness, and it feels good. As you guys know, um, mom's been very, very, very sick. I 
dad's been really sick. But we're hoping that they are recovering. It's really been tough, y'all, because when your mama's sick, you usually go see about your mama. And it is not an environment where anybody can do that because even if you're vaccinated, you can still get COVID. I know people who have been fully vaccinated and gotten it really, really, really bad. We don't really need to talk about that. We'll talk about something else. Isn't this pretty? It's just kind of meditative. And you can see that I'm not even using whole strips of paper. It's like I said, the wonkier you can kind of make it, the better it looks. And I would love to see what you guys are coming up with for this little project. And it is a little project. I'm really excited about my fairy doors. Like I said, you know, it was something I did way back when. I don't even have like videos. I did win a couple of um, art, artsy award things uh, at the studio where I had my work. I did third place in an Easter Seals campaign that uh, an Easter theme, I think they did one year. And that was, that was super cool. All right, now let's look at what we have. And the way we're going to kind of judge this, we're going to fold it. That's one signature. And that's another signature. I'm going to kind of just put these two together and kind of shove them in the book. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, you can see how that looks, right? You know, you can see how raggedy, taggedy it looks. Um, I'm not happy with quite how full it is, so I'm going to add a little more. And you can kind of judge, you know, you can judge if you want to add a little more to your stacks. I'd also like to send out, um, and I don't think she'll mind, but let's keep our Cheryl, Missy, in our thoughts as her sister passed away. So we're thinking about you, Lynn, thinking about you, Missy, and thinking about your sweet sister, Linda, who is, goodness me, Miss Linda is enjoy enjoying life. <laughs> She has gone home. Bless her soul. For sure. Alright. Hmm. I like that a little bit better. Alright, now I'm going to tuck it in there. And we'll see how wonky we can make that. You know, you can make it into a spell book or, you know, whatever. Isn't it pretty? Alright. I think I'm good with that. You'll want to kind of join these two things together. <laughs> only only y'all and I would know that this is like a project, right? It looks like a bunch of scrappy stuff that somebody dug out of a... Uh, <laughs> looks like a bunch of scrappy stuff that somebody dug out of a trash can, actually. All right. Now, I'm just going to join the two like this. Just kind of nestle them in another piece of paper. This is, you know, you think about coffee dyed paper and you think about ways to use it. This is like a really excellent way to, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done this. So we're going to open our book. And kind of, you don't want to liberally apply glue because, like I said, you want it to re retain its very, um, you know, its super wonky nature. All right. So there we go. Oh, I think I like it 
this way better. The last thing that I do with my little books is I just give them a little taste of a stamp pad. And that really brings out that aged look. I'm using a Stampin' Up! chocolate chip. It's so, so tiny, but so elegant and so much fun to make. So I really do hope that you guys will, um, will kind of make this part of your of your creative arsenal. You can use them for a lot of different things. I love anything that's small. I love anything that's miniature. I just am really enchanted by it. So find some enchantment for yourself today. And thanks for hanging out. And I will talk to you all very soon. Take care. Bye.